Rick Agiano here for Ghosts on the Coast. Patrick Osborne is filming uh, this latest vlog episode, which will also serve as an evidence review. Uh, as, the, um, as our followers know, we do a ghost hunt every Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. It's an annual tradition that started out as a joke about four years ago uh, about the ghosts uh, coming home from shopping and uh, being very active. And as it happens, that joke turned into an annual tradition because the ghost hunts on Black Friday have been incredibly active. They've been one of the more active nights of the year. Um, this Black Friday, things were not as active as normal, but we did get a couple of EVP recordings um, captured by Patty Bukowskis, our uh, resident EVP expert. I'm only going to play one for you today just because the speaker on this isn't great and this is loud enough that you will be able to hear it. Um, we had a group of about eight people at 10 o'clock, four of them left because it was, you know, late work the next day and all that. And um, the four of us, uh, me, Joanne, Patrick, Patty, decided to uh, stay behind for a couple more hours. So you'll hear in the background Joanne's voice. She's talking to me. You'll hear piano keys because Patrick was, uh, we were taking a little break and he was just, you know, fooling around with the piano. And then you're going to hear a very loud voice and one of the louder excuse me, EVPs that we've ever had, that doesn't sound like a whisper. It doesn't sound like that normal, <laughs> you know, type deal. Uh, it's like a voice. And it's, it's really shocking. It's kind of creepy. And it, it's a simple sentence. It says, I remember Roy. Um, we don't know what the spirit was talking about. Maybe they missed Roy because Roy had just left. I don't know, but I'm going to play this for you a couple times and you can hear for yourself. What those spirits were talking about, um, or that spirit was talking about, I have no idea. Um, like I said, if you go through our videos listing, we have many EVPs, uh, probably 95% of them captured by Patty, and they're all whispers. Some of them are excellent, full sentences, but usually a whisper. This, of course, is a, a full-on voice that we did not hear in person. It was just captured on her audio recording, so we thank Patty again for that. As for the rest of 2018 with Ghosts on the Coast, we are most likely done investigating Strauss Mansion this year. It's December, it's freezing, it's the holiday season. Um, uh, possibly maybe a couple other videos coming up from here, I'm not sure. Um, we are doing a ghost hunt in my house in a couple of weeks because I, I moved last year and um, I broke the cardinal rule. I always tell everybody, don't ghost hunt in your house, don't do seances in your house because you never know what might come out. And we moved into this very unassuming house in Holmdale and um, things have been happening since we moved in, since day one. And only recently, the last couple of weeks, things have been um, accelerated. Noises, footsteps, voices. Um, so we're going to bring the crew in to ghost hunt. It'll be a half Christmas party, half seance at Greg's house and we'll see what's going on there. Um, as for our, ourselves, we, we have a lot we, we all kind of have a lot going on with our houses right now. It's been, it's been strange. Joanne has reported um, footsteps and voices, and um, her husband Roy actually just the other day said he, he heard a full-blown conversation happening. And um, We've investigated their house several times over the years. There's a couple videos up on YouTube. Uh, they, too, have a newer house. We're not talking about houses that are hundreds of years old here. Mine was uh, built in 1993, and hers, I think, was built in the 70s. Uh, Patrick occasionally has... Things follow him home. Uh, all of us right now have had stuff uh, possibly latched onto us, or maybe we've just awakened something that's always been in our houses. I don't know. Um, I did find out that one person did die in my current house, uh, a young guy who um, died of complications of diabetes. He had severe uh, ailment, and um, he had a moment where he, I think he fell or passed out, and there was nobody else home, and he died. And he was young. He was only, like, in his 20s, so... Um, we're trying to communicate with him. We have reached him a couple of times, and he says that, well, Greg, you actually have spirits from the Strauss Mansion on you, and, and that's stuff that we all kind of figured, me, Joanne, Patrick, you know, you do this a lot, you get certain spirits that follow you around. So we'll be getting more into that later in the month. If we don't get a chance to actually talk to you again, we like to wish everybody a, a very Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, a Happy Healthy New Year going into 2019. This is the end of Season 4. We have over well over 100 episodes and we hope to crank out season five next year so anyway that'll do it for now from the strauss mansion i'm greg caggiano 
Pat Osborne is filming, and we will see you soon.